but we are addressing that too. And two big announcements this year, one from the FCC, the Spectrum Frontiers announcement, which opened new bands uh, at 28, 37, 39, and also at 64 to 71 gigahertz, uh, almost 11 gigahertz of bandwidth, uh, is really kick-starting this uh, area. And then there's a new NSF-led uh, advanced wireless uh, research initiative, uh, which is led by Thyaga Nandagopal, who's here, and this is part of that. And uh, so I'm going to skip this slide uh, and just tell you what was our rationale. So as you all know, there's a, you know, hardware is really driving uh, technological innovations in millimeter wave. And there's also you know, communication and signal processing techniques, how to deal with the computational complexity, uh, and then also networking protocols at the back end. And a lot of this work is going on in all these areas, but it's, as always the case, relatively isolated. So one of the goals here is to bring it all together. And the prototypes and test beds are squarely in that space. Uh, and then on the other side, academics and industry, that's kind of a, uh, you know interesting uh, collaboration. And so this is another opportunity for us to really forge it anew. And uh, also government agencies, especially the FCC, is playing a very key role here as well. So the goal here is to bring academic and industrial researchers from all three areas, including international representatives and stakeholders from government, to facilitate cross-fertilization of ideas and to accelerate millimeter wireless technology development. Um, so we have a steering committee of uh, a really outstanding steering committee of 16 uh, researchers from all three areas. They span academics, industry, the European Union Millimeter Wave Project, and the National Institute of Standards and Technology. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's being led by from Wisconsin, myself, and my co PR, Shen Yu Yang. Um, and uh, then Jim Buck Walter, this is academic members, Jim buck Walter from uh, UCSB, Ismail Givent from NC State, Hang Lu, our local host from CUA, uh, Marwan Kroons from Arizona, Ali Nikniad from Berkeley, and Sandy Prangan and, uh, from NYU. And on the industry on the international front, we have Amitava Ghosh from Nokia Bell Labs, Arun Ghosh from AT&T, Ali Sadri from uh, Intel, Ashwin Sampath, from Qualcomm, Ian Wong from National Instruments, and Charlie Yang from Samsung. And uh, uh, NIST, we have representatives from the uh, 5G Channel Modeling Alliance, Kate Tremley and Nara Golmi. And uh, from uh, the M Millimeter Wave Magic Project, we have Mazir Nekovi and Mitri Hanunkumbra. Uh, probably that name, but uh, my apologies to Mitri. Uh, so, workshops are a big part of it. Uh, we'll be twice a year, and hopefully we'll have an announcement tomorrow for the next one in spring. All SC members are and, and I think they are here, uh, at least part of the time. And the idea is to facilitate interaction between SC members and the wider research community, and also industry and academic interaction. And there's a special emphasis on involving junior researchers and uh, researchers from underrepresented groups. And I, well, and this uh, for the kickoff and our website is going to be you should bookmark it on all your devices uh, it's going to be the go-to place for all information to, to millimeter wave wireless uh, and uh, and we are very fortunate to have uh, two outstanding uh, keynote speakers to kick off this event uh, uh, John Wilkins uh, chief of the wireless telecommunications bureau at the FCC is here I'll introduce him in a second uh, thank you for coming. And uh, tomorrow we'll have Julie Snap from uh, the Chief of the Office of Engineering and Technology from FCC. Uh, John is a lawyer. Julius is an engineer, so we'll have a good uh, perspective. Uh, and I won't talk too much about the agenda. We have a full agenda. Uh, after the keynote, we'll have a first panel to kind of take stock of where we are. So it's mostly industrial SC members who will tell us where we are standing. And then we'll have three poster sessions. Uh, they're about, uh, uh, you know, almost 13, 12, 12 uh, in each session. So all over the place, very interesting poster sessions. And then uh, uh, in the afternoon, after the poster sessions, we'll have a breakout, three breakout sessions in the three areas for 
developing a technology roadmap for millimeter wave research, and it, some of it would be influenced by the discussions earlier. And then uh, the breakout leaders will discuss to create some interdisciplinary directions for panel two discussion tomorrow, which will be, you know, charting the course for RCN contributions over the next three to uh, five years. And uh, and then, yeah, I also messed up this not continental breakfast. Our hosts have done a great job providing us a really warm breakfast, so I appreciate it. Um, and then here is a, you know, we have quite a few posters. We also have demos from NI and Qualcomm. Uh, and then um, these were some discussion points which are posted on there, and one of the biggest ones is challenges. So I think uh, that's really, and then collaboration and cross-disciplinary come in there too. And, uh, and finally, I want to thank Hang Lu, uh, the local host, for working tirelessly to make this happen. A lot of work has gone in here, and we have uh, five or six student helpers here. Thank you to all, and uh, Dan Laufer and his team doing the live streaming. Yeah, this event is going to be his being live streamed right now. And then one of my students uh, was on a special operation for video live streaming, and then everyone from CUA uh, helping here. So thank you very much. And now I'm going to give... Uh, uh, you know, Tiaga Nandagopal wants to make some comments. This would not have been possible without him. So, uh, Tiaga, thank you.